Okay, hello everybody, and welcome to the Cultivate Your Voice post-event webinar. So thank you for those of you who have joined us, and thank you for those of you who might be listening on the replay. So I just wanted to have these webinars as a way for accountability, a progress reports, and answer any questions, and any maybe some last minute teaching where I might have forgot something, or I might have a surprise guest. So if for some reason you guys get an email out of the blue, it's because I might have a surprise guest who normally has a busy schedule, but I might be able to squeeze him in. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, so thumbs up, Lori, can you hear me okay? Yeah, good, thank you. Now the one thing I wanted to point out when you are doing a webinar, it's nice to, to use earbuds, even as a participant, if you're called on, sometimes it's good because otherwise if you get too close to the computer, sometimes there's like an echo, and I noticed that on my last webinar that I had, it was the pre-event webinar, I think there was just a little echo and it's kind of annoying. Like it's annoying enough that people might not want to listen. So I learned that and I, and I knew that I just kind of forgot, but uh, we have a small crowd tonight. I know, um, you know, people might be coming in at the last minute. So again, this is, I am recording it. So I will be sending this out, but we're going to make this quick. So first of all, let me thank everyone who have, who came to my event. I've got the nice little, uh, look at that picture. Can you guys see the picture? Yeah, okay, isn't that awesome? So thank you again for everyone who attended. I like how all the men are like hiding in the back. We've got like 10 men that attended, but they're all hiding. You can see a couple of their faces peeking through, but thank you for everyone. You guys were awesome. You guys played full out. It was just, I am so grateful. And you guys are part of my alumni now. So when you're the alumni, that means you get extremely discounted tickets for all of my future events. So just keep that in. You are now the Cultivate alumni. Okay, so welcome to the first post-event webinar for Cultivate Your Voice. Oh, is that Sarah? Hi, Sarah. Thank you for joining us. Again, my name's Colleen, as if you guys don't know me by now, Colleen Cavanaugh, your gig girl, the host of the event. So what I'd like for you guys to do, I'm gonna continue to talk, but if you'd like, go into the chat box, find the chat box, and if you can find it in there, just kind of press around till you see some buttons, and I want you to tell us any progress reports or anything that you implemented that you learned, or something that you're working on, or even if it's just some kind of outline. So if there's anything that you learned, or maybe there was an aha moment that you had at the event, maybe you had a favorite speaker, or maybe there was a specific topic. So I want you to put that in the chat box. And we're also gonna have some questions later, but right now we're gonna celebrate, okay? Everybody say celebrate. Now I can't hear you. Well, I think I, I can't remember if I unmuted you guys or not. Uh, I might have muted you again, but right now we're good. I can't hear anybody, so this is good. Or you might have muted yourself. Thank you for muting yourself. <clears throat> okay, so while you guys do that, uh, I'm just going to continue. And again, I wanted to give a huge thank you to our sponsors. So this is what happens when you're a sponsor for my event. I do try to give you guys, give my sponsors lots of, time. So I just saw uh, Linda today at my networking group at the RGA. She she is part of the RGA group. She hosts a meeting on Thursdays at the Grillsmith in Wesley Chapel. So she does send out cards. It's awesome. If you have a lot of client, if you're dealing with clients quite a bit and you want to send them appreciation cards, thank you cards, things like that on a, on a regular basis, definitely talk to Linda. Or if you just want to have some cards. I still use her, uh, the free service. I just pay for the cards and they're great. And they're, I'm kind of a card person. So I love sending cards and it's like half the price than going to Walgreens to getting a card. So they're really cool. Send out cards. And then, um, uh, we have, 
we have uh, Trudy. Oh, hi, Nick. Thank you for joining us, Nick and Elise. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining. And again, thank you to Trudy. If you haven't done so yet, get with Trudy. You All you have to do is record a video, minimum of seven minutes, up to 15, no more than 15. You send it to her and she will put it on her Roku channel. I haven't done it yet myself, but I need to. Okay, send a video, evergreen, evergreen meaning try not to mention any dates or anything like that, but a, a generic video about your business. Send that to Trudy. And again, thank you to my other sponsors, Carrie with Sound Branding Ideas and Bill Graham with Quickie Videos. So thank you again to my sponsors of this event. And again, another huge thank you to all of my Cultivate crew that helped us out. Melanie, she pulled double duty because she was she was helping with crew in the morning and then she helped with the, with the she was a panel expert. So thank you for sharing your story, Melanie. And she helped clean up and the whole work. So thank you to all of these people who dedicated the entire day to helping me out. So you guys are awesome. So uh, I'm going to get back to you guys in a second in the chat box. If you haven't done so yet, write in the chat box any aha moments or what you have implemented about what you learned or any progress reports. Okay, so write that in the chat box. I wanted to tell you this one, this quote. It, in any given moment, we have two options to step forward into growth or to step back into safety. So what are you guys doing? Are you stepping forward in growth? Are you implementing what you learned? Are you making some plans? Or did you sit back and relax? I know I've been sitting back and relaxing a little bit, I'll be honest. Okay, so what are we doing? We want to continue to cultivate your success. Okay, so just want to, oh, and this is just a quick video I wanted to share. Let's see if I can share this with you guys. Let's see if I can figure this out. This is my speaking demo reel. I wanted to share this with you real quick. It's only like a minute long. And then I wanted to tell you about one of these exercises that I did in this video. Okay, so here it is. So when you do events, you want to you want to record yourself if you're ever speaking. You definitely want to get some kind of recording. Now, the audio is not very good because it's from a video from far away, but at least it's showing some action. So always video anytime you're doing some kind of presentation, it's good to video it. Yeah, the audio is really bad. <laughs> oh, so I'm emceeing here at Clustine's event. She's having one in October. So that's me emceeing one of her events. Okay, that's a little long. This is my first demo video. Okay, now watch this. Okay, so that's my demo video. Now, uh, there's a reason I wanted to show that to you, a couple reasons. This is a, a game. It's an improvisational exercise that I really wanted to do at the event, but we didn't have time. I was having so much fun with the panel. I actually went a little longer than I anticipated, but this is a really cool exercise to do with your friends or with your, if you have kids or a group of you, if you do host your own networking meeting or colleagues or some kind of meeting this is a fun thing this talks about your focus and, and and this is a fun game so what we did here was we broke up into groups of say three people three or four three people or so and four people one person uh shannon some of you know shannon she's over here in the black 
So one person will tell you math problems, like easy math problems, like two plus two. Clustine over on the other side, she was telling me, asking me personal questions like, what's your name? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? And then the person in front of me, the girl in front of me, she would be uh, doing something in front of me and I had to mimic her motions, whatever she was doing. So then I had three different things going on and I had to try to answer them and listen and do the, oh my goodness, it was it was fun. So that was one of the exercises that we did at my very first workshop called Master the Art of Dynamic Events. And we just had fun. And the whole purpose of that was to see, I guess, I don't know, I guess multitasking isn't good, but it is helping you focus because when you are presenting, if you're a speaker, when you're hosting your own events and you're a speaker, you have to be aware of all the things that's going on. You might have to be listening to yourself you might have to be watching your audience but you might also have to be taking signals from the dj or someone's trying to signal something to you you got to figure out what are they trying to say so this is this was oh my gosh it's so much fun so i really hope i can do this again at another event when it's appropriate but i really wanted to do this these more of these in interactive exercises on that day but i just ran out of time it's just so much but anyway, so that was a fun, fun thing. Actually, I think Elise, I think Elise, Elise was at this event when we did this. Elise Taurus, yes. I think she was at this event. Uh, so that was fun. And then, okay, so I just wanted to show that to you. So we are going to move on. Ooh, okay, so let me do another uh, motivational quote here. The tiny seed knew that in order to grow it, grow, it needed to be dropped in dirt, covered in darkness, and struggle a little bit to reach the light. Okay, so the whole purpose of the Cultivate series is, see, I grew up on a farm, you know, with crops and beans and cornfields, the whole works, and so I kind of knew what cultivating was. It's getting, you know, going, just digging up all of that yucky dirt from the winter and breaking up all of that, that old dusted dried out dirt and digging down deep and getting that fresh fertile soil so then we can plant the seeds so that's what we're doing at these events we might be breaking up old habits that we might have learned or mindset i usually start my events with talking about the mindset because that's where it all starts right everybody say yes agree uh raise your hand up if i can see you <laughs> or if you're near the keyboard you can type agreed it all starts with the mindset right so uh so i always like to start with that but we have to cultivate our knowledge cultivate our relationships networking and that's why what's really good about these events is you are networking with high achievers so uh, that's another reason i love to host these events and again, just cultivating our knowledge and our expertise and learning new things. And now we're gonna start implementing them. Okay, so let me do this. I'm gonna stop that and I'm gonna look into, let's see, the chat box. If I can get into the chat box. Okay, perfect. So we have here, Carol, after the event, I really began to focus on my conversations. Wow, she started to enunciate more clearly. Okay, very good. So she noticed, a difference in her confidence. Wow, like who would have guessed? That's awesome. Thank you for sharing, Carol. Wonderful. That's great. Now, Lori, I have already thought about creating a four week podcast series. Look at you. Go, Lori. Go. Now, Lori, I'm going to bring her up in a few minutes for a testimony. I'm just so excited. Something that she shared with me today. Okay, so we have Sarah. I learned clearer about podcasting she's going to check into that all right awesome and sarah uh chris kremitzos has his one month once a month meeting he just had it tuesday night so that must be the second second it must be the second tuesday of of the of the month and it's right in tampa at the at the ihop by international plaza near the airport so if you guys want to know more about podcasting uh, definitely check into him and he's he's great um yeah great guy and everybody that's there is so knowledgeable too 
So anybody you meet with, okay, so Melanie says here, I have, I have uh, been working on my written voice over halfway done with my book, working on PowerPoint and Zoom videos for training. Oh, look at you go girl, Melanie. Wow. And future podcasting. Excellent. And that's what's cool is once you create these things, you can use it for, yes, a PowerPoint. You can use it for a podcast. You can use it for a blog. You can use it for your YouTube channel. You can use it for a Facebook video, an Instagram video. Oh, it just goes on and on. So once you create, you know, like a, few, a page or two or a couple pages, you can expand on it if needed. Or if you just have a basic outline, if you only have a few minutes to speak. Okay. Let's see. Who else do we have here? Amy. Uh, Amy, um, I cannot see you, but that's okay. I can't see any comments. Hmm. Okay. So Amy, what you would do is if you've ever been on, um, hit, if you see at the bottom, it should be a chat box. It should say chat and there's like a little bubble. If you hit chat, if you hit that little bubble, you should be able to see the group list come up to the right hand side. And if you want me to see you, Amy, you have to click on the little video uh, icon to your left side. Okay, hi, Nick and Elise. Did you guys want to share anything? If you do, I can unmute you guys. No, uh, we're good. You good? You we're good. You good? Okay. All right. I'm gonna un I'm gonna mute you again. Now I I want to bring on. Can you see me? I can't see. Okay. Yeah, I still can't see you yet, Amy. But that's okay. Um, but again, you would hit the little video on the side. Okay, so I want to bring up Lori. So Lori, I'm going to unmute you. Can you tell me the story? Let me see. Unmute. Let me make sure. Okay, good. Hi. Okay, <laughs> yes. Lori. I I you sick. <laughs> okay, I want you to introduce yourself. Tell us about yourself real quick and tell mm -hmm. us your, like what happened in the past. Like you, Maybe you've never really been a big speaker, um, but then uh, tell us what happened, you know, what you learned, and then tell us what happened today. Okay, ready? And go. All right, I'll just make it really quick, but um, I went to your class or your event two weeks ago um, through Elise and Nick, um, through their luncheon, and today, and because of your events, the following day, I got out the book that they do their luncheon on and picked a topic to speak about. And today was my day up on the stage. Um, thanks, guys. I appreciated it. Elise, it went great. Um, yep, The Millionaire Mind, Secrets of a Millionaire Mind. And because I was with you two weeks ago and I had my three minutes of fame with you with the, um, the uh, microphone, I felt confident enough to open myself up to Elise's event and speak, which is something I have never, ever, ever, ever put myself out there to do. So it was my first time ever and I thank you all. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you. Give her a round of applause. <clears throat> from where you're at, you can give her a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, or say congrats in the chat box right there if you're not on camera. Thank you for sharing. So Lori, as she had shared with me earlier, she's she's never been a big speaker. Like you've really never like given many presentations. I would never volunteer to ever speak, so no. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so awesome. And the thing is, is when you go to these events, very much like Melanie's story, she kept seeing us and it builds her confidence just seeing us thinking, wow, I can do that. And, and so, you know, I'm not going to credit it all to my training. Uh, I would love to credit it, but let's just be real. All the good energy that's going on in the room and the mindset, you know, even if it's just the mindset being around all these high achievers, it really does something to you. You're like, Phew, right? Like, bam, like, oh my goodness. It's almost like you broke through something. Maybe it was Maybe, I don't know what you did for the exercise. You know, when we rip something in half, do you think that had anything to do with it? Would you want to share with us what you ripped in half that day? What do you mean ripped in half? Were you there when at the beginning, I think I had, um, I had people write down something about their limiting beliefs 
and um, anything that well as far as public speaking for me uh, it basically equal fear or anxiety that okay. was what it meant okay because of growing up the only time i ever spoke in front of people was in school and wow. Yeah. That was like a bunch of laughing, judgmental people staring at me, and mm -hmm. it just did not feel good. So, <laughs> wow, that's awesome. And what's funny is, like you said, you just bumped into Elise, hadn't seen her for years. You attended her lunch and learn. And thank you, Elise. I had Elise give away a ticket at her networking meeting. You were the lucky recipient of that. You came, yep. like, not even really knowing what to expect. And then you, you're like, wow, you purchased my program and mainly because you wanted help on the microphone. Would you say that was the main reason you wanted to, to jump in? Well, it wasn't necessarily help. I just, I don't know, something told me to do it for that reason. And um, as nobody's aware, or I'm going through a lot of transition. I kind of related to Melanie when she spoke because of her background. I come from a similar not to, not similar and 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 but a similar background and so i connected with her but there, i guess i just things are just changing for me and i'm just listening to the changing and and the things wow. that are coming my way yay i'm so excited so what so uh, elise for those of you who might be listening to the recording or who's on this call she, elise hosts a weekly thursday lunch and learn or not lunch and a meeting, networking meeting, where they discuss secrets of the millionaire mind and they discuss chapters in the book. And this is usually open to, it's open to anybody, but we would love for you to get this book and read it because every week she now has somebody uh, present a chapter in the book, one of the wealth files. And that's what Lori did today. And she texted me and I called her back. I'm like, what? Oh my goodness. So I was just so excited that she felt comfortable, confident to do that. So thank you, Elise, for hosting that meeting. And thank she you. She also for... got it on video. Oh, no kidding. Oh, nice. Uh, awesome. I don't know how good the video, but she copied it. So <laughs> that's okay. And what's cool is you can go back to that in a year or two from now and compare and be like, oh, wow, that was my first time and see, you know, how much you've improved. But the, again, if you can make it to her meeting, it's in Clearwater at the um, Jason's Deli just uh, right on Highway 19 on, in Clearwater. Uh, so that's- Enterprise. Inter okay, yeah, right near Enterprise. So that's a cool networking group. If you can make that, that's awesome. So, okay, so I wanted to ask now, um, was there, oh, you know what, real quick here, what time is it? It's 824. If you have any, di um, any burning questions, please type them in the chat box. Now, for those of you in my program, um, you guys, we can answer those questions, you know, outside of this meeting here. Uh, but this is for anything uh, maybe that you, you felt like you could, maybe we could discuss right now. So if you have any questions relating to a topic maybe that, um, you just wanted to expand on just write it in there okay so um so do that and in the meantime i wanted to tell you guys one of the things i forgot to mention when i was teaching i wanted to tell you about when you're warming up your voice to do stretches i completely forgot okay I, this was like i was supposed to do this but i want you guys when you're warming up for a presentation back when i used to work on cruise ships I, I did the same presentation over and over, but I'd be behind the stage ready for them to you know, say my name. But then I would be, I'd have sometimes that nervous energy, even though you do stuff over and over. Sometimes you still get nervous, but I would be out there and sometimes I'd be kind of, you know, I'd be shaking it off. So you might do some jumping jacks, right? Now, when I get anxiety or, or whatever anxiety, I tend to get it around my neck and my shoulders. So I'll make sure I stretch, right? So if you need to stretch before you go in for a presentation, uh, whether it's a sales meeting or whatever it is, maybe you go to the bathroom if you have to, do some stretches, okay? So I can't remember if we did that, but I was gonna have everybody stand up and stretch, um, you know, especially like the neck, stretch out that area, and you can take some deep breaths as well. Can you guys hear my neck cracking? Seriously, like my neck was cracking. <laughs> you know, you can take some deep breaths, I need to be better about that, uh, but deep breathing, things like that. There's some nostril exercises, breathing in one, 
and something like that. I, I can't remember. Uh, I remember reading about it. I don't think we went over that that day. I was just trying to squeeze in. I have so much I want to share, but just not enough time. So I might just do another lunch and learn, a cultivate your voice lunch and learn, just to kind of go over some more details about some of the things that I spoke about, just to have a little bit deeper areas of things that I missed. So that's kind of what I'm doing here on these webinars. If there's a topic or something that I thought of that I missed, I might want to drop it in here on the webinars. But like I mentioned, I might be having some surprise guests. And the one is, is like near celebrity status. And I was so excited. Uh, he couldn't make it on tonight, but he said maybe this weekend. So don't be surprised if you get like a random email saying, hey guys, jump on in a few minutes because uh, I'll try to record it. But let me tell you, if you get that email, you might want to jump on because it's going to be amazing. If I can get my friend on, whoo, it's going to be so good. Uh, but I don't want to give away too much. I don't want to get your hopes up. But if you just never know, I might get, I might get somebody from out of state to jump on on a webinar just as a little extra bonus, a little extra training. Okay, but I can't promise it, but I'm just saying it might happen. So, um, did anybody, okay, so Lori said, um, thanks today, I looked at calmness to clear my head prior to speaking. Okay, good. Did anybody have any questions on anything in particular that I taught about, like events or anything? Did anybody have any questions on that? Oh, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah's talking about Toastmasters. Yes, Toastmasters is great for speaking. Thank you, Sarah. Excellent. They are really good, for sure. They are amazing. Okay, good. All right, so, okay, so no one really had any burning questions. Now, for those of you who joined my group, oh, a gentleman did ask about your event today. Oh, you mean which event? This, the upcoming one, or this last one? Gentlemen. Mm. I'm sorry, I, I talked about your event today when I spoke, so he wanted to know more about your Cultivating Your Voice event. Oh. And I told, we told him that it's, you're having another one in January. Okay, what, do you remember his name? Just a new guy, or? Even, yeah. At least we'll have his name on the on the record. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I am. Yeah. So <clears throat> thank you. So yes. Oh, I am having uh, that event in January, and I have. Oh yeah. Can you give us an idea of the topics in the next event? Well, surprise, surprise. Elise here is going to be one of the speakers. Yeah. So it's cultivate your health and wealth. So for those of you who purchased my program, and it, I still, it's still available, we still have a few spots left. If you purchase the program, you get a free ticket to, to this event. So she's gonna be talking about real estate investing, and, and, and we'll get into more detail about that. Now, you know, Elise, are you able to type, Elise, or if you wanna come on, do you flip or do you do more wholesaling? or do you renovate, or maybe you contract out, or maybe uh, tell us what you do there. Okay, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay, perfect. So we do some flip, but mainly what we do is we buy, well, we do flip with our students. So we have a coaching program where we buy houses and yeah, flip them with our students, but mainly I love what, that we, we buy them, we fix them up, and we sell them on lease options, like a red zone program. Okay. So we good. Help people. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Wonderful. And we'll go into more detail because you will be seeing videos and you'll see an exact description. And 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 what I love about Elisa's story is she was trained by T. Harv Ecker herself. And she was a bartender, right? Do you want to tell your story, Elise? Sure. Yeah? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So it's funny because I'm here. At, we're here about to do the Millionaire Minds weekend with Doug Nelson. I'm in Atlanta right now. Oh wow! And okay. so my story started in 2003. I did my first Millionaire Mind intensive, and that's why I, one of the reasons I'm so passionate about getting sharing this with everyone is that 
I did it in 2003 within, and I was a bartender in New York City. Went to the seminar, totally changed my life. Within nine months, I quit my bartending job in New York and moved to California first. But anyway, and within a couple of years, I had created a million dollars in my real estate. Wow, within so, a couple of years, awesome. Yeah. So wow. It was, it was, yeah, it's amazing. So it's mindset and skill set and everything is so important. Wow. And so, you know, I know you probably joined a program with them and that accelerated your progress. Exactly. It's yeah. Continuing learning about it. Just got caught in, you know, um, what do you call it? Oh, caught on the, the personal development, business development bug mm -hmm. and just wanted to constantly grow and learn. And, yes. Yep. And real estate was one of the vehicles to wealth. So that's what I chose. And Awesome. Good. <laughs> and, you know, even if people aren't necessarily interested in, in real estate, but, you know, maybe they don't know the different uh, options as well. So there's a good chance. I don't know if I'm going to bring anybody else to talk about real estate. So Elise and I are going to speak some more in detail. But some of the other topics, um, I haven't, I don't know the exact topics, but the topics is obviously health. So I have a personal trainer that I'm going to be inviting in. So obviously she'll be talking about fitness and I'm, and a little bit of, she's probably got a nutrition program. Most likely I'm bringing in a doctor, probably a holistic doctor. Uh, I just haven't decided. I've got some ideas in my head and I have another entrepreneur, very successful, and he's got a lot of stuff going on. Um, and so I still have to contact these people. They don't know it yet, but they're already on my list to contact. I just haven't contacted them yet. So these are the topics. So it's health and wealth, different ways of wealth building, and uh, of course, your health. And me personally, I'll be talking about your mindset and the discipline, because that's where it all starts, right? You have to have discipline, whether you're disciplining yourself in the area of money or in your health. So that's where I'm going, uh, going to talk about that. And so I'm just really excited. It's going to be good and it's, it's going to be awesome and it'll be a similar format probably as what we just had. So, yeah, so, uh, so that where I'll, you'll hear more about that in October. So I just still got to wrap up what's going on with cultivate your voice. I'm wrapping up some things. So uh, that's about it. So I just wanted to keep it kind of short. And if you do have any questions, Feel free, make sure you join the Facebook group if you haven't done so yet. You can ask questions on the Facebook group. People are very helpful on there. And again, I just wanted to let you know, we do have a few more spots available for this coaching program. You can get this CD. Oh, well, it's not a CD, but it's the different audio tracks. It says like seven chapters in there and 45 minutes of training, five specific exercises. Okay, so you can go over that. And also included are 50 Instagram templates that look like this, some of them look like this, and you just put in what you need there. And 25 content creator ideas, we have a list of different things that you can use. And again, once you do one thing, you can use it in all different areas and different platforms, so that's cool. And again, uh, my group, you're going to have two group, personal group webinars from just us in that group, and you're going to get one personalized Zoom call. So if you want to knock it out right away and do your personalized call right away and you want to get some direction, great. Or if you want to wait a couple more weeks, uh, but I do want all of my Zoom video calls and everything done by October 1st. So for those of you um, who might also have, um, those of you who know who you are, uh, who have the personalized video calls with me, we're going to get those in between August and September. So we'll be already done and ready to go by October 1st. I'll be on a different thing there. And again, this program includes a ticket, which is, you know, normally, you know, 60, 50, 60, 70 dollars. And yep. So there you have it, guys. So again, thank you to all of you. You guys are wonderful. Uh, I just really appreciate your support. Thank you for showing up here on the call. And I know everyone's got a busy life, so thank you. I mean, you guys are in Atlanta, and you managed to pull out your your laptop and sh and uh, stop in. So thank you for that, Nick and and Elise. 
So yeah, so they're helping. That's what's cool is MMI. I help as well on those events. And it's just so much fun being around that when you're around those people. And as many times as you hear this, I've been to MMI, I think four times now, three or four times. And every time I go, I hear it a little differently. I hear something and I have an aha moment because we change. So when they say something, it's affecting us at a different level. So it's just so awesome to be able to be involved in some kind of personal and professional development. Oh yes, oh Melanie is asking, how much is the program? Yes, thank you again. I forgot, yeah, I forgot to mention that the last time. I, I keep forgetting. It's only $87, which is awesome. So if you want to join, you can still do that. Uh, just uh, email me at yourgiggirl at gmail and we'll just take care of it through PayPal. So again, that includes all the, the templates, the personalized calls, the group calls, the audio program, and a ticket to the next event. So uh, yeah, so you gotta do it. If you guys wanna join, I do have a few more spots available. I'm kind of keeping it limited though, because I only have so much time for those personalized calls. Thank you for that question, Melanie. Okay, can you give us, okay, so I think I've answered all the questions. So we're gonna keep it, uh, I wanted to keep it to, you know, 30 to 45 minutes, because I know we all have busy lives. So congratulations to those of you who are implementing what you learned and keeping it on the top of your mind through your conversations, through your writing, and uh, in your networking groups. So that's super duper awesome, and again, Join us on the Facebook group if you'd like, the Cultivate Your Success Facebook group. I think I invited everyone, so feel free to jump in there if you'd like. And again, if you have any questions, you know, email me, give me a call. All right, guys. So thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yay. And we are going to go ahead and end this call right now and uh, be on the lookout for more emails for the, we still have two more group calls that are included with the price of your ticket. All right. Thank you, everyone. Okay. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Good job. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>